Hello. Where's my where's my webcam? There's my webcam. Let me just put my ring away. Cause I don't want to lose my damn wedding ring or engagement ring or whatever the hell fuck ring it is. Hell fuck ring. That's got a ring to it. Anyway, there's nobody here, which is why I'm babbling like this. If you're watching this in the uh, later gram upload or whatever. All right. This is like a really intense song. And it's also four and a half minutes long, so I'm not going to deal with that. But I'm going to minimize this. And we're just going to corner mode it up. And when people get here, I'll start telling stories. But right now, we're just going to go straight, straight west of loathing. I have been genuinely enjoying this game a ton. So where did I leave off? What was I doing? All right, map. What can I do still that I haven't done yet? Um, oh, I wonder if I can go to... Let me wander, see if I find anything helpful or useful. Ooh, binoculars. Oh, I, you know what? I think I can go to... Fort Cat... Er, oh, God. <clears throat> what I was saying is I think I can go into Fort Cowardice. I still don't have lockpick, but I can use my binoculars. Snake Spring. Ooh. Abandoned campsite. Open up the crowbar. Ooh, look at the rope. Ranch dressing. Ranch dress pistol. Surgical gin. Nerve pills. Orthopedic boots. Orthopedic boots. <clears throat> What are, what are the orthopedic boots do? 
Plus 20 max HP? What do my current boots do? Plus 1 max AP, plus 3 max... Mm. Damn. I'm gonna hang on to those for later. Oh, I can forage this. What in the world? An endless stream of snakes pours out of a hole in the canyon wall. Grab a handful. Uh, let's see what this does. If I can get most of them with this. <coughs> oh, okay. They're like weak little baby snakes. They're just gonna whiff us. So, oh, that one's actually a bit stronger than I anticipated. These things don't have enough skin on them for you to bother pulling out your knife. Grab a big one. Hey, hey! How are you doing this fine evening? Oh, jeez. That's not super helpful at all. That's just like a place to grind. Oh, I don't have four. Doing pretty good. Had a had a pretty good day. We uh, we went to the movies this afternoon, which was really nice. And this weather has been like gorgeous. Ooh, Hellcalf, let's fight. Oh wow. Okay, that was a good one. We went to go see Knives Out, which I loved. I thought that was great. Like, I did not expect it to be as fun as it was and just genuinely interesting. Oh, wasn't there something at the dude ranch that I could pick up? Ooh, get directions to his fort. Here, look. Dehydrated cannonballs. There's something I'm supposed to do here with the fucking hippies. So I've been playing Pitch My Dogs for like two hours and they still wanted more. Oh man! What kind of dogs do you have? Somewhere hiring a baker. Okay. Two cockapoo. Oh! I don't know anybody in dirt, uh... Drink it and take its hat. Cowboy chef's hat. That's amazing. Oh, what are your dog's names? I, I'm, I'm like... Ugh, oh, I wish. Hot dog? Did the hot dog need a baker? Leave. Oh, it's hot dog, that's right. Roscoe and Teddy Bear! Oh, I love it. I love that a lot. Plus two spell damage. Oh no, my current hat is like even better. This is the end. Not a lot available past this point. Okay. What could I still do? Is there anything at the desert house? Did I do everything there was to do here? I must have. Touch too much mashed potatoes and Roscoe is a master socks. Oh! Oh, that's adorable. Oh, that's right. That's what I took care of here. Okay. Um. It was funny because uh, my new office mate was showing me pictures of his dog, and it was great. I love. I love. I just love dogs. Can I do anything at the destroyed campsite? Jump in and see what you find. Grave dirt, burial, whiskey, old wedding ring. Ooh. Dogs do make everything better. Any day that I get to pet a dog is a super good day. Oh, that's right. That looks like a person. 
More thorough inspection reveals dusty boot prints on the tattered canvas. Cows don't typically wear boots. Oh, that's just... I can only sell that. Do you think my daughter in city for a heart doesn't such a moral... Oh, That's so nice. Let's see what... Clue what I was doing. Aww. Okay, that's cool. I need 30 moxie? And what's my moxie at? 21. Ugh. Yeah! It's it's a busy night. I know a lot of people aren't around tonight, but I'm just like, yeah. It's also still early. So, like, a lot of the West Coast people are still, like, eating dinner. But that's okay. It's intimate. What's the game? Uh, give it a lot? Ah, damn. Oh, yeah, well, I mean, I never, I never call out a lurker. You know me. Ugh, I need to... <laughs> Hit it quite hard. Oh, limit one per customer on the teddy bears, though. Oh, I need to get thirty of one stat. Yeah, I, I can completely understand that. As I hope you're doing a little better now. What am I closest to? Muscle. Ugh. Do I have anything that will let me like? Increase muscle by like stats pistol attack no spell damage max HP no plus five moxie on the rancher's pistol plus three muscle uh, what's this ooh okay all right so there's that it's just full damage plus one armor and I currently got okay no I need that. Plus two muscle on my sword, my thing, okay. Mmm. Mmm. No, I don't want Moxie. I want. Plus four melee attack damage. Plus three Moxie, three mysticality. Sent resistance. What am I got offhand right now? Oh. Why didn't any of these things give me what I need? Oh, plus six muscle. What's my muscle at now? 33! Oh, I should be able to do it! Hit extremely hard. There we go! God, finally! Let me just switch back to what I had. No, bad. This. All right, so I want my, I want my fake Pope hat back. Oh, this is much better than the one I've got. And then, what did I switch out? Oh, I need Santa Cortada's ring back. Muscle. So I think that's everything back to normal? Okay. We are back in the circus, Karen. Okay, but now I can go to the sideshow. No, I, I could go to the sideshow before, that's right. <clears throat> colors do you have? Red. They're all red. They all float around here. Oh, uh, okay. Welcome back, thanks. Read the sign. Just condemned until further notice. So 
I got the ticket for this. Right? That's what I needed? Or was there something else? Oh my god, look at me, I'm rolling around. There's nothing interesting back that way. Is there nothing I can do right now? I don't think there's anything I can do here. What do you think we do next? Any other ideas? Okay. Maybe I have to get three tickets? Oh god, that would be... That's something I could possibly... Okay, so what do I need? I need Moxie for this, and what's my Moxie at? My Moxie's at 25. Yeah, I'm, I'm curious about that. Ugh, so I need something that'll put my Mystic or my Moxie up another five. So let's see what I can do. Fake profile gives me two Moxie. No. I guess the sloppy top hat for now. Two moxie, two spell damage, one armor. No, okay. Ranger's pistol gives me five moxie, which I need. St. Beefus is that. I need moxies. Anything here give me moxie. Fancy knife gives me moxie. That might put me over. Oh, I need one more. Let's see. Ooh, what kind of yarn? This is Moxie. Yeah, okay, souvenir spoon. This should be enough Moxie for... Large plush cat! Okay, I see you've already got a ticket to Barnaby Bob's show, though. Those are limited to one of Patreon. Let me give you our other grand prize. Oh, okay. That's cute. Plus four moxie, plus four pistol attack damage. Is that better than my current offhand thing? Kind of. Burn up blanket yarn for a blanket. I got a book for Christmas that teaches me a bunch of new stitches. Oh, cool! Okay. Uh, I want my... Beefus's thigh back because that's hilarious. And I want my popat! Damn it! Everything else should be back to normal. Well, I wonder if. Hmm. I don't have Forge and Three yet. I did have a good holiday. I had a nice, quiet holiday, which is. But I, I, I like quiet when it comes to holidays. New Year's was bananas, though. We went to, um, we went to a, uh, um, like the indoor amusement park. It was pretty cool. Um, maybe you get a clown costume. I wonder. Or I wonder if I need to beat that last round of clowns and cows the old medicine show check it out now heck yeah uh we were at not fun time america that one's not there anymore it's uh the one in freehold what's it called um oh hey Susie, what's going on um i play yes that's where we went no wait really I live like 20 minutes away from there. Hmm, okay. Oh, dude, that's awesome. Oh, dang it. Take it. Oils I have known! Yes! I love oils I have known! Oils I have known means I get to learn a new skill. I love skills. Ooh! Make a spleen. Uh, liver. 
Flammable bullet oil? A uh, venom gland. A spleen. Peyton. A spleen. A venom gland. Venomous bullet oil. Cool! I learned how to use the thing! And I got stuff as a result! I thought I had more liver. Whoa, increases your max HP by 25 for the rest of the day? Deals hot damage to an enemy. Oh, cool. This this is such an interesting and fun game. Over the side of the road, you spot a lone and gloomy grave marker with a lone and gloomy man in a black robe digging up the grave with a shovel. Hey, what are you doing? The hooded figure looks at you, looks at the shovel, looks at the grave, and looks back at you. Do I really need to explain? I mean, why are you doing it? Exactly. Well, it's for necromancy practice, right? I mean, you gotta get the bodies from somewhere. That's despicable. Shrug, this is necromancer's territory now. Your moral outrage isn't really my concern. Did you just say shrug? Ooh, is it new color time? Attack him. Oh, that's fine. I can... I can take him out at once. Bam! Hmm. Oh. You know what? I was about to say, have you done purple? Because I remember you were green for a while, then you're blue. Got a black hood. What's the black hood do? Plus nine spell damage? Ooh. Oh, that's going to be a needle in that haystack. Yes! had a real barn burner of a party here. What? Oh no, I th that's probably for his um his name on Twitch. Although Ryan, if you wanted to do purple hair, that would probably also rule. Whoa, what the heck is that? Oh my god, that's it. That's got to be. Got to be what? That's where the cows came home from. You made it! Yay! They could dye my hair. My hair's really bad with products. You might want to try that overtone stuff. I've heard good things about that. How do you know? I just, I know! Look at this place! Look at that damn thing! It's like something went and tore a hole in, in nothing! What the hell else could it be? Guess we better check it out. Oh, man. Oh, so now that there's people here, I can tell you guys the... The bananas day I had. Um, so while Michael was out at the uh, animal shelter, I drove to pick up. Um, I drove to pick up a new doll that I bought off of Facebook Marketplace because I've been doing that lately. Um, I, as some of you know, I started collecting American Girl dolls because I have no self control. So I get down there and it's this like huge house, like. Big ass house! Yeah, Boom did it to me. It's all, it's, I mean, it's not all your fault. It's mostly Maria. Ooh, that's a good purple. And it's different enough from Karen's purple. <laughs> not even sorry. Um, so I get down to this one. It's a giant house, and she's just like the nicest lady. And we're talking, and she gets me my doll, and I'm gonna, I'll go get them, because I haven't shown those off yet, because they're in the other room. Hang on. gold mine i know so we have a discord server for american girl dolls and stuff like that um so the woman i was talking with her she's super super nice hands me the bag and inside the bag is um my new addy who this one is going to be renamed lisa um after the one the only lisa left eye lopez um, ooh, she stands up on her own right now. That's pretty cool. But this is not a uh, her official life. This isn't actually even how she's going to stay. Uh, but we were talking, and she just ended up being so, so nice. 
Also, they did a good job of, like, maintaining her hair, mostly. Um, I don't have a intention of collecting the outfits right now. I want to try to do, like, one outfit per doll for now. But once I have more room, we'll see. And she's just, we're, she's so, she's like, oh my gosh, you're so nice. I want to do, like, something else for you. She goes, would, would you want a broken one? And I'm like, I'm, I'm sorry, what? She goes, I have another one. But it's broken. Would you want it? And I'm like, uh, yeah, because most of the time they can be fixed. So she runs in the back and she goes and she says this one. And it's got like a whole bit. Is this one it's like the, the legs are a little weird, but <laughs> she gave me this doll for no extra charge. And I'm just like. This is Kit, by the way, and the only real problem with her is that um, you can see the elastic and her legs are kind of, like, this is indecent, probably. Um, I'm so excited to have an Addy. I've always fucking wanted an Addy. Um, so, and like, she's in beautiful condition otherwise. She just needs to be restrung. And she, the woman was just like, you know, my, my daughters don't want them anymore. They, you know, my one daughter lives out in LA and she's about your age, but she just, they don't want them and we're looking to move. So we're trying to clean out the attic a little bit. And I'm just like, not one, but two new friends. And I like them cause they're squishy. Yes. Boom, I think that uh, Kit is going to be the first one for the doll hospital, or your doll zone. Because this is this is the, the worst off of the ones that I have that need like joint restringing or tightening anything. And then with the Kit, she goes, oh, and I've got a bunch of little stuff for her too. I'm just like, what? Huh? So she had... What did she have? She gave me uh, her little clutch. The whole kit and kaboodle. Ugh. Kaya rules. I mean, they're... The thing is, there's like no bad ones. But it stinks that you didn't get to pick the one that you wanted most. And then a little like neckerchief. And she wasn't sure where these came from or whose these were, but she gave them to me for Kit. So I I don't know. Al got to pick! What the heck? Karen, remind me when we're off stream, there's a Kaya for sale in Middlesex for 40 bucks. If it's still available and I can look into it for you, Kaya. And literally, like, you could do the pickup for it because Middlesex. Uh, and the little, like, the tag that came with her. And her first book, which I'd never read. Aww. Oh, wait, that tag wasn't even, like, Kit's tag. This is Kit's tag. But it was just such a nice, she's like, you're so nice. I just want to do something for you. Just like, I, I, it was so strange that she wanted to do something for me just because I was nice. And I had never met her before. Will probably never see this woman again in my life. But she was just like, here, take this. It was a very interesting day. I'm going to fight this damn hell beast. You know what? You might be onto something there. Ooh, my mysticality leveled up. Infernal Soul Strike, Susie Connors, another notch in the stock of her rifle. The portal to hell, you hear ominous mooing. The only part of the shed that didn't burn was the part this horseshoe was attached to. Guess it really is good luck. Lucky horseshoe. Ooh. 
plus six pistol attack damage? What do I have? Oh. Hmm. I'm gonna keep. Hmm. Fuck. Guys, do you think I should keep the large plus ca plush cat with that plus four moxie? Or should I switch to the lucky horseshoe? I love stupid walking! I am so glad that we actually got that enabled first and foremost. And also, so I, because this is Boom's first time watching the stream with the, for this game. So I've got stupid walking, goblin tongue, honorable, raised skeletal buddy, white hair, um, Appalachian skull whispering, mostly scabs, Anatomical learning and green thumb. Which is cool as hell. I don't know how to level up my. F oh, I guess I just do it by foraging. I did do next max! I'm. I shouldn't have, but I did because I'm just like, it's cool. I wanna do the necromancy. Alright. Hell cow, let's go. I wish there were a way to level up your partner, too. Tainted milk. You pulled some cows from their home dimension and mercilessly slaughtered them, you monster. <laughs> Just kidding. They're super evil. All right. Silly walks. Oh, God, I love the stupid walk. Oh, and my horse is Sporce because it's a spooky horse. Ah, there's a sudden thrilling whoosh sound and a man dressed all in dark gray with a long flappy cloak and a gray, ba gray bandana pulled up to conceal his face appears before you out of the shadows. He brandishes a wicked looking knife at you accusingly. Stop right there. Prove your allegiance for I'll suffer no cultists in this place. Could you be more specific? The necromancer's cultists. The skeleton guys. Show him the black hood you got off of that guy. My first playthrough, but not my second one. I'm a beanslinger. I'll probably do it again. Ooh. Here, see? I got this hood off of a cultist I killed. You're saying having a cultist hood proves you aren't a cultist? Well, if I was a cultist, I'd be wearing it, right? That's not a great argument, but since all actual cultists have accused of attacked me by this point in the conversation, I'll let it pass. Cool. I've been killing them with their own daggers for the sake of poetic justice. Here, have one! If you want to aid in the fight against this evil, there's a cemetery nearby I can direct you to as well. You discovered a new map location, Reboot Hill. You got an item, Repurposed Cult Dagger. Level up, uh, snake whip level three. Neat, thanks. Okay, what can I do here? Just be patient, dear. <laughs> I was asleep walked here. The guy stopped messing with his watch and started eating jelly beans? Please? No, get your own. Well, I never. This lady is still whistling to beat the. B oh, hey. Howdy, boss. Howdy, sweet. Stuck again? Yep, got ourselves one hell of a canyon to get across and no materials for bridge building. There's an old mine up north called Breadwood. They've opened up a lumber camp after the mines dried up. If you can fix a deal with them for the lumber we need, I can handle the engineering side of things. Okay, where is it? Of course, anything you find to build a bridge out of is fine by me, but that seems like the simplest option. I'll see what I can do. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Who are these? Okay, so let's see. I can go to Reboot Hill. Ooh, Fort Memoriam. Ooh. Wait, wait. Oh. Yes? Did you see what the binoculars thing looked like? Um, I'm gonna go back and check it out. <laughs> because I, I thought it looked like one of those... Oh. <laughs> you encounter a goblin wearing a battered cowboy hat, two large spurs, and a rusty sheriff's badge. And it seems extremely excited to have spotted you, and compares, though it tries to put on a stern face, it can't mask its glee. Freezing crimes, doer! You're underneath arrest! What? Why? What did I doing? Crimes. You so much criming. 
I never am criming. Tell the United Judge crimes doer. Talk to it. What makes you saying I'm a crimer? Um, well, looking at you, looking at all this criming. Oh, I don't have Hornswoggle 4 yet. Okay. Self deputized goblin, all. Now I'm more like a self deputized goblin. All right, so we go back and we take a look at that because I missed it. Oh, it looks like a skull. Oh! Oh my god! Okay. I get it now. Oh! It looks like the fucking scream! That's so good! Oh, this fucking game is so good, y'all! Oh. Okay, let's go back to Reboot Hill. Ooh. Ooh, hey, what's this? Artillery Saber. Hmm. That was one of the best ones. That was right up there with the Dave Yard. I think the Dave Yard is still my favorite. Reboot Hill. Don't worry, it's just paint. Hmm. Strange, there's a keyhole in the trunk of this tree. Good to know. And that's why I go everywhere. Plot number one. You see the ghost of an elderly woman holding flowers. She seems lost and depressed above and beyond what's expected for a ghost. Howdy, ma'am. Is there something I can help you with? Oh, it's so awful. I can't remember. I can't remember at all. Let's start at the beginning, okay? Well, you see, I had four daughters. They married four brothers, the Smith boys, and after that, they each had five daughters of their own. Unfortunately, I outlived every one of the 24 of them. Uh, uh, you, uh, know you're a ghost, right? Oh, yes. In fact, I died here in this graveyard where they're all buried. I came to visit them, and I suppose my poor old heart finally gave out. That's not the problem, though. 95 years is a pretty good run, after all. So what did you forget? I brought this bouquet of flowers to put on my favorite granddaughter's grave, but I can't remember which one of them was my favorite. I'm so ashamed, and I can't bear to leave until I've remembered. I see. Well, maybe I can help you figure it out. Oh, thank you. I'd appreciate that ever so much. No problem, ma'am. Can you remember anything about your granddaughter? Well, I'm quite certain her first name ended in a vowel. Okay. Anything else? Remember, I was 40 when she was born. Oh, no. 37. Was it 42? I must have been somewhere in that range, at least. Okay. Name ends in a vowel. Where's my handy dandy write shit down book? Handy dandy write shit down book. Um, yellow will not be helpful. Okay. Uh, name ends in vowel. Um, 37 to 42 when born. And she said she was how old? 95. Anything else? Oh, her first name was longer than her last, just like mine. Long first name. Okay, anything else? I remember she wasn't buried next to any of my daughters. Not buried by daughter. Anything else? She passed the same age as poor, poor Becky, who was always in such ill health. Same age as Becky. Anything else? Oh, her favorite hobby was knitting. And she was a knitter. She knit me a lovely sweater for Crimbo just the year before she died, and that's all I can remember. Knitting. Okay, hang on, let me think a moment. I'll be back in a minute. All right, dearie, I'll be here. Okay, oh boy. All right, so Becky was... 
Um, forty-three fifty-nine. So fifty-three. So she was sixteen at death. Pamela Smith. Pearl Smith. Lilith. No. Penultimate Becky Smith. Penelope Smith. Patricia Smith. Too old. First Becky Smith. Fuck! Which Becky is she talking about? Fiona. No. Leilani. Linda. Margaret. Madeline. No, way too old. Faith. Oh, wait, unless that's her. No, 36 to 75 is not going to be 95. Faith. Fidelity, no. Mezzo Becky Smith. Magdalene Smith. Farrah Smith. A loosely packed grave. Dig it up. You uncover a coffin that's apparently delivered by mail because it still has the address printed on it. Either that or this is a joke about somebody going to Hellstrom Ranch after they die. Hmm. Yeah, the ghost was 95 when she died, not the granddaughter. Melissa Smith. No, okay. So it's the... Are we pretty sure that the, the regular Becky, little Becky Smith is going to be the one that she talked about? Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think little Becky Smith is the one. Okay, so this is her. She's Rebecca Smith. Makes it very easy. So she would have... If she was... So, okay. Then she would have been... eighteen, Born in either 1837... Alright. 1837 to 1842 for like why ooh marmot skin cap Peggy immortal kind of ironic Biff Bunkerson he was a real butt face ooh. tripe pie Snidely Crandallsworth Annette Centibaum Clean Willie Hanks really is going to hate this burial thing. Uh, sure, why not? Ooh, okay. That didn't help, like, at all. Hardly barely at all. We're going to get severely walloped, aren't we? Yep. Oh, what in the fuck? I'm gonna die. Bleh. Alright, we'll worry about these guys later. Shank Weems. We're pretty reasonably sure he's dead. Drowned in a whiskey barrel. He would. Ooh, decent whiskey. Cool. Pit. Ooh. Gnarled Flens. Died as he lived. Screaming. First lady bicyclist to ride off a cliff. Riding boots. Ooh. The remains of a picnic. Loot it. Ooh, Plum Pudding Sugar Guns Gothic Cameo. Hell yeah. Okay, so I'm assuming that the only. So it's gotta be 1837 to 18. No, too early. No, too old. Hmm. You know what? It might be Leilani here. Because 49 to 59 would be 10. Uh, 
No, that's too old. 49. I can't figure this out. Are there more of her relatives in another, uh... Oh. Well, it just said that she wasn't buried next to, um... Any of the daughters. That one guy. Yeah, you know, the one, that one. Oh, those are the ones I want to stick to? Okay. Yeah, I feel like Leilani is the one. Uh, hello, who are you? My name's Bernard, but shh, lower your voice, they'll hear us. Who, the cultists? Shh, yes! Not a fan? They're reanimating dead people's skeletons. I don't want to be reanimated, it sounds horrible. Can you imagine having to walk around without your skin on? How embarrassing, not to mention cold. Sure, well. Plus, I mean, dying's hard enough. Who wants to come back to life when you've just got used to being dead, right? I can see that. Please, can you do something? I don't want them to find me. Okay, I'll let you know when it's safe. Great, thanks. I'll just hang back here until the coast is clear. Xavier J. Hornhog. No worries, thank you so much for hanging out! Skull chips. Oh. I can shoot them for sure. Nothing to it. Mm, I'll come back to this part. Yeah, definitely. We, we do want to go back again soon. So, all right. I think I know who she was. L? Was it Leilani? Oh no, it wasn't her. Okay, so it was not Leilani. Hmm. Wonder if it's Patricia. Oh! Alright, hang on. We're gonna do something real quick. So we'll keep that in mind. Maybe Patricia? Because I'm going to have to uh, go back to the um, I'm going to have to go back sleep so it'll be the next day and then I can find out. Uh, this cult has looked like barely maintaining control over the schedule. Wait a while and see what happens. You hide behind a tombstone and wait. After a few moments, the skeleton rests itself from the cultist control and goes on a rampage. There's a diary you can find somewhere that'll give you more clues, but I don't remember where it is. Ah, okay. Bones and teeth fly everywhere, and none of them belong to the skeleton. That gives you any indication of how the fight turns out. Seemingly satisfied with the carnage it's caused, the skeleton scratches something into the ground and then shuffles off to the south. Yikes. Intermediate next, Max. Nothing in here but three bedrolls and a single stale smell. Oh, 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 I have sense resistance. Give me a sec. I can do that. No, not here. No, I don't want to do that. A pyro boat. Oh, it's on fire. There. Easy. Bam. Yes! Susie level up! Good. Oh, that's right. I have to fight cows to level Susie up. What was I trying to do there? Oh, I was just trying to get stench resistance. That's right. Crazy human, a tuna isn't swimming. This is a dessert. Where's your swimming? Well, yeah, that's my point. A tuna is round and green with red dobs. Pokey spines having. Oh, some kind of cactus, like a prickly pear or something? Yes, duh. 
fight. A goblin tuna chef. Shoot nanny level up! Good, excellent, good. I got an item, tuna fork. All right. I love silly walks so freaking much. It's so dumb. I want stink resistance, that's right. I know that it's, ooh, what's the gothic cameo do? Spooky resistance, ooh. Deal stench damage instead of physical. Um, I think it's the sweet smell and flowers. Yeah, okay. Investigate. You open a door, dig around the chair, you got a burn scroll. Examine it. The scroll's in bad shape and you can't really make it anything new, but you're convinced it's supposed to be another clue to the whereabouts of the Necromancer. You stick the scroll in your journal. I should check that out. Right. Hmm. The Necromancer's lair must be near that crazy portal he found in Hellstrom Ranch. Eureka! Looks like you've got everything you got so far. Okay. So now I can switch back to the... What do I have? The large plush cat? Yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna go back to fucking dirt water. Wait, do I want to go to dirt water? Or do I want to go to breadwood? Let's go to breadwood while I can. Ooh, jumble deck mine. In a row? It's weird that they bothered to put a period on the sign. It's weird that they bothered to carve individual hyphens in a greater than sign instead of just carving an arrow in it. Continue where you're going. What? You know a town's gone to pot when the horses are drunk. Ooh, Susie knows something. Oh, another ranch. Oh, the lumber. Howdy, Mayor. I'm Elise Explosion here on behalf of the Manifest Destiny Railroad Company. We need to build a bridge in a hurry, so I'm here to cut a deal with you for that lumber. All right, I believe we can scrape together that much wood. What sort of down payment are you offering? Oh, uh... Oh, you want me to go back to that other place? Oh, I just sort of expected you to bill us. You want that much lumber with no payment up front? Are you serious? Could probably offer you free train rides. I do enjoy a nice train ride, but that deal would be a real problem, and I've already got seven problems to worry about. Oh? Mayor glances at the list of problems posted on the wall and pass paces around nervously. Offer to help with his problems. Okay. Missing mail, overdue book, missing mail. Our last batch of mail never got here. We don't know if something happened to the mailman or what. Go talk to Reginald of the bunkhouse. He used to be a mailman, so we can tell you where to start your search. You got it. All right. First, I'm going to go back. I'm going to go to, what was the place that we just got? Jumble Neck Mine? A bandit steps out of the bushes at the side of the road. He's pretty raggedy, but he's also extremely burly, like a scarecrow stuffed with footballs. He hefts a pistol that can be described as a hand cannon without getting metaphorical. Give me your dough, uh, or else. Mm. Hornswoggle him. Or else you'll give me your wallet and leave peacefully? Okay, I'll go with that one. Uh, I mean, that is a stranger or else around here. We wouldn't want to buck tradition. Sweet! Jumble deck mind foreman's office. Rocks. Probably some pilings and stuff. Mine leaves you got piled up here. Search the rocks. Poke around the rocks, we don't find anything of interest. Aw. Except for the dust over everything. The fact that the guy at the desk is a ghost, this looks like a regular mine foreman's office. Uh, okay. There's basically shoving the ghost of papers on his desk. Talk to him. Excuse me. Kid, I'm busy. I got a mine turn. Take a hike, okay? This mine is still running? I haven't seen anyone. We're miners, kid. If you saw anyone appear, I'd have to fire them for not doing their jobs. How's business? Oh, just great. Hunky friggin' Dory. See, this face is my happy face. And I'm double excited about answering questions from some random kid that wandered into my office while I'm working. Look how ecstatic I am. That's quite a silver tooth. Made it myself. Made a few silver little trinkets in my time. Now go away. You know you're a ghost. You know you're a pain in the ass? No, I'm serious. You see me laughing? <laughs> Quite you Come here. Oh, that's easy. <coughs> You successfully killed a ghost. Killed is probably not the right word to use here. Uh, 
Oh, I don't even have safe kraken. That was for no all for naught. Oh, a miner's helmet. This like workshop here a bunch of months ago. What? Just grab a handful? No. Ooh, gin blossoms. Ooh, there's a human skull hidden in the rock pile. That's a little ominous. Yikes. Elevator, down into the mine. The elevator's pretty dusty inside. It doesn't appear to have been maintained for quite a while. It does still seem functional, but the control lever is chained and padlocked. You also notice that the shaft is totally silent. You'd expect to hear the rumbling of minecarts and the clanking of pickaxes echoing up from below, but there's nothing. Ooh, spooky. Ooh. Okay. Sports get suddenly spooked by something off the side of the trail, and it's easy to understand why. There's a horse skeleton in the ditch, which is a thing that's probably extra spooky if you're a horse. Approaching the horse more closely, you see the tattered remains of a pair of Pony Express saddlebags on its skeletal flanks. The starboard bag is empty, but the port one contains a skeletal human hand with a ring on it. You conclude that either the horse's rider died with his hand in the saddlebag, or somebody's really sad that the skeleton hand they ordered never showed up even though they paid extra to have it said Pony Express. Either way, free ring! You got an item ring of getting places faster. Mmm. What is the ring of getting places faster? Reduces the frequency of random encounters. Oh, no, I don't want that right now. <laughs> well, well, looks like some poor son of a biscuit wandered into town. Howdy, cake sucker. Wow, geez, rude and baffling. Get used to it. We like our cousin here in Breadwood. Sure, fine, but cake sucker? We also like our breads and bread related products. So I've noticed. Bartender pours a shot of something and slaps it on the bar in front of you. I don't get to choose? No. Well, thanks. Just don't be this guy. This guy is grimly washing dishes. He knows you're looking ways you away, irritated. Probably dangerous to interrupt this. Just two old friends reminiscing about the good times and occasionally sewing each other into their guns in a non threatening way. Remember Deadwood? Oh my god, you're right! What are these guys up to? Ask them. What you playing, fellas? Pharaoh. But I wouldn't say we're playing. I'd say we did play until this cowpoke ran out of money. How's it work? It's easy. You bet 50 meat and then I name as many pharaohs as you can. Every time you name one, I give you 20 meat. Wait, what? Those are the rules. How did this guy lose all of his meat to you? He's real bad at it. I'll give it a try. Oh, you don't actually know the many. How about the Borman soot? Grumbles and hands you in. How about... <laughs> That's all I got. Table's closed. Get lost. Sweet! Oh, yes! It's time! It's another spittoon! This is the spittoon, an unusually full one. Probably best to leave it alone. Take a closer look. Look, this isn't Mom and Pop's family fun time saloon. This is a dive bar in a dive town. The people who drink it here are mainly drifters and desperados. Don't go splashing around the literal scum of the scum of the earth. I'm gonna. Seriously, don't. This is wrong and disgusting. It is vile behavior. I have my face right, face right up to the thing. What's it look like? No, I'm not telling you. Why are you doing this to me? I had to skip lunch today because I couldn't stop thinking about you and these foul spittoons. I've got my hand right in here splashing around. La 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 la. I'm not listening. You find nothing. You are the worst person in the world. <laughs> I found something, all right. Like a necrotic skin disorder, I bet. Actually, it's a pair of boots, so there, Mr. Delicate Stomach. Boots, great. Boots will abandon spit. I hope they have to invent a whole new kind of trench foot just for you. I hope they name it after you. You're just jealous of my sweet new boots. Oh my god. Ooh, plus three max AP. Ooh, actually, yeah. That's pretty great. <laughs> A spittoon two for <laughs> it's a post a trade with it oh oh yes i need this finally mushroom plucking pliers monkey wrench doesn't even look a little bit like a monkey to you okay i need to read these books 
Oh, quick on the draw, skill increases bad medicine, expert poisoner, massive skill that multiplies the amount of poison you apply to enemies when you poison them. Hmm, that sounds pretty good. But now I want locks and how to pick them. Finally! As soon as you're done reading, you donate to a local orphanage. Soon those orphans will be able to make their escape. Go, orphans, go! Okay. I use silver tooth skull. Oh! Shoot. I bet you that was the guy inside that you had to, like... All is not well with this well. This guy seems very focused on his beard growing. Howdy, are you Reginald? Who the Focaccia are you? Name's Elise Explosion. The mayor got me investigating some missing mail. Said you could give me a line on where to start looking. Oh, yeah, all right. I gave up being a mailman a couple years ago, but I doubt they changed the system much. All the mail headed here used to go through a way station just southwest of here. I'll mark it on your map. Thanks. Howdy, stranger. I'm Hobart Buppert. You're what? Oh, I mean, hi, Hobart. I'm Elise Explosion. You seem like the traveling sort. Mind doing a fellow a favor? What's the favor? Thing is, my only dream in life is to see an owl skeleton. That's quite a dream. I heard they got one at the petting cemetery, but the what? Petting cemetery. Is that what it sounds like? Exactly what it sounds like. But see, I ain't got the meat for a ticket. You want a loan? Nah, I got no prospects of paying it back, but I got a camera, and I figured if you could went to the cemetery, you could take a picture of their owl skeleton and bring it back to me. Sure, I'll do that. Okay, I'll be back. <laughs> okay, so the first thing I want to do right now is I want to go back to goddamn Fort Cowardice, now that I have the lockpicking skill. Because there's shit in here I've not been able to get into, and now I will, because I have lockpicking. Go in. <laughs> Goblin Cena has just repeatedly fired his pistol at a pie safe. Get their attention. Say, uh, what you are doing? Shooting pies! Always! Always shooting pies! Could you elaborating on that? Why shooting a pie? Yes. To destroying, obviously. Must to destroying a terrible pie. What is wrong with a pie? Bah! A human will never understanding. Ask again. No, really. Why a pie shooting? Shut up! So much angry! Looking, I'm pretty sure being a pie is destroyed. Destroy- Uh-huh? Look, so many holes in a pie safe. You winning! A pie is dead! You certain being? Waiting here. I will checking. You peek through the bullet holes. Yep, that pie is shot to hell. Hooray, you are a success! A pie is so very destroyed being. I... I doing it? So much doing it! But now what? Huh? What's I shooting now? Um... Um, I guess you finding another pie? What? There are more pies being? Yes, a world is full of pies. Oh no, this violence thing never ending. Sorry, being, not wishing to enabling this behavior. No, this is my cross bearing. I must going and continuing the fight. Okay. Thanking you. Okay. Wishing you good luck against the forces of Pi. General Gob strides out the door, jaw clenched, eyes resolute with Pi hatred. Well, that was weird. I guess I'm the general now. That was it? That was what I've waited here for? I love the goblin talk. It's adorable. Oh, yeah, wait, I've got lockpicking, so I can do this. Oh, army field trauma kit, yes! Still don't have safe kraken. I need to find where I can buy the safe kraken book. <laughs> okay. I know there's other places that I can go. Petting cemetery. Wouldn't you just know it? The trail is blocked by a bunch of boulders. Oh no. Fall along some barbell weights and old cast iron printing press, all kinds of heavy stuff. Right around it. Ooh, okay. Susie's got something. Oh, another ranch. It's one that weren't never attacked by the cows. All right, Kay, I'm probably not going to be streaming for too much longer anyway. Um, just because it's Saturday and I'm getting kind of tired. Ooh, 
Ooh, what do you think we should do next? Oh, the lumber. The mayor's job for if we gotta get the lumber. Okay, yeah. Okay, so let's go buy a ticket. Welcome to Gorman Lancaster's one and only petting cemetery. It's educational and entertainable, and only 500 meat for a lifetime pass. Petting cemetery? That's right, a wide variety of guaranteed genuine animal skeletons, and you're free to touch them to your heart's content. Well, with your hands, that is. No writing. Can I feed them? You can try! Neat. Interested in a membership, miss? Pay. Yeah. Wonderful, just hold still for a second while I memorize your- Uh-huh, okay, go right in. Thanks for your patronage. I just spent, like, so much fucking meat. With a click and a flash, you take a photo for Hobart Buppert. Ooh. You can infect Boone of the Bobcat. Oh, what? They give you different... Oh, damn, I didn't know that. That's cool. Okay, so now I can go back to... Breadwood, I guess that was? I'm getting confused. Oh, I don't have foraging too yet. I need to level up my foraging. Hi, at least you managed to take a picture of that L skeleton yet? Sure did, here you go. Oh, would you look at that? What a beaut. Well, thank you, at least I ain't got anything for a reward, but I imagine you'll get some experience points out of this. See ya, Hobart. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, I don't have lockpicking two yet. Dunwich Crouton. Croissant Le Breton. The curious pass here. All still too Oh, I don't have forage in two. I want the pepperoni mold, though. Okay. I think I need to go to the uh, postal way station. That's right. Oh, keep going where you're headed. Postal property. No trespassing. Trespass. Ooh. Blank postcard. It's an article all about how they have to change the name of Boot Hill Cemetery to Reboot Hill Cemetery because all the skeletons in there are coming back to life. <laughs> Stackable new suit. Somebody's removed all the funny, so there's literally no reason to care about them. Ha! Nothing interesting this time. Cabin is full of maps, but you have no idea what anything. Maybe you could ask about the post office in dirt water. Yeah, maybe. You don't even want to know what bureaucratic processes were involved in the placement of this outhouse. Alright. I'm sure I need to go back to dirt water now. Oh, I should go to Roy Bean's house, too. Okay, so I can go to the post office here. Hey, I need some help tracking down some missing mail. How do you mean? Mail delivery went missing on the way to Breadwood, and I'm hunting on behalf of their mayor. The local mail station has a bunch of route maps, but I don't know which one I need. Hmm, a lot of information ain't exactly secret, but I ain't supposed to give it out either. Delivery going missing is bad news, though. I suppose it's all right this one. Wait here a sec. Okay, so each map has a postal code number on it, you see? Based on region and direction and travel. She explains how to work out the code you need and gives you a cheat sheet for reference. Thank her and leave. Okay, that was cool. Wait, I might be strong enough to take on the fucking... No worries, as You get some good, good rest. If I can take on these guys in the back now, because I got, like, plus... 13 melee. Yeah, that'd be good. I wonder if I could use the, um... Hmm. Oh, I get intermediate. Next, Max. <laughs> Read it. Ooh, Vampiric Yodel. 
Emaciated? Oh. <laughs> Just one stick a week? Tannery Saint Rage. Okay. Okay, let's go. Okay. Don't I have, like, ranch dressing or something? Okay. Let's do it. There, good. Ugh. Fuck, really? I forgot about that. I have 51. Alright, so I'm gonna do this. Susie. Alright, so that should take those out. Now we gotta take on the clowns. Alright, so I didn't... Oh, Jesus. Give me some more AP. Hmm. Because these are helpful. Okay, that's one down. These are easier than the other ones. And they're not hitting as hard. Alright! We did it! Finally! Good! Yeah, it's a good thing the clowns hate cows more than they hate humans, or that fight could have gone way worse. Fortunately, it seems pretty unlikely you'll run into any more animated leather-clad cow skeletons on your adventure. Right? Hooray! Is too tan to be possessed? Oh, hey! There's a guy back here hiding behind a barrel. He isn't very good at hiding. Um, hello? Oh, thank God! You aren't one of those horrible clowns! Nope, I'm a lace. Lace explosion. I'm Grady Tanner. It's a good thing you arrived. I couldn't have held out for much longer. Are you actually a Tanner, or is that just your sleep your surname? Well, both. What you doing in here? Hiding? I mean, what is- what I mean- what I mean is, why are you hiding in here? Because I don't want to die! Look, what's your story? Well, I was scavenging for tanning materials. Cows mane ain't as easy to get a hold of as it was in the old days. But while I was searching, those cows showed up, and then those clowns showed up, so I locked myself in here to hide. What's cow's bane? It's an herb used for tanning leather. You can't grow it in large batches anymore because cows show up and wreck the place, but there's other stuff we generally use for pig leather and so on. It's not as good, though. Cows wreck your herb gardens? Yeah, if you're growing something more than about a flower pot's worth, they would have wind of it somehow. They hate the stuff. Can't figure why. Here, got a few extra seeds you can have. Be careful with them. How long you been in here? Three or four days. I'm starving. Cow's bane's poisonous, so I've been chewing on this old leather hat for sustenance. Seriously? Yep. You want some? No. Well, I took care of the clowns and the cows, so consider yourself rescued. Wonderful! Thank you! As soon as I get a new shop set up, you can count on me for any leather goods you need. The first one's on the house. Uh, you wouldn't happen to know where I might set up a new shop, would you? Uh, there's an empty lot in dirt water you could probably use. Great! I'll head right there. Thanks a million, partner. I owe you one. No problem. Uh, nothing better after a hard fight than a tall glass of loot. Got that right. <laughs> okay, so I did that. That's one thing I'm able to check off the list now. Hmm. So I can go back to... Oh, no, let's go to Roy Bean's house and deliver that letter. <laughs> Ooh, 
Ooh, handful of old coins. Hmm, that could be helpful. I have so much stuff. Roy Beans House of Justice and Jelly Beans. Perform some of your own. You gussy up a bit. Ooh, Moxie level up. I forgot that I get, like, points for flushing toilets. Howdy there, Pilgrim. Name's Roy Bean. Howdy, Roy. I'm Elise Explosion. What do you do here? Well, when I first came to these parts, I was all about two things. Dispensing justice and dispensing jelly beans. I was the biggest name in bounty hunting and candy selling anyone ever heard of. Gosh, what happened? Oh, nothing particularly tragic. Got old is all. Hung up my pistol for good. Points at the wall. Look. Putting an empty hook on the wall over his platoon. I still sell some jelly beans from time to time, but they're out of fashion. This old place is just a jelly bean museum now. I found this letter addressed to you. A letter? <laughs> Thanks, anyway. For a jelly bean museum, I sure don't see very many jelly beans. Huh, a bunch of crooks and shady characters stole them. All three jars. Suppose they think I'm a soft target now that I'm retired. Well, that sucks. Well, I'll help you get them back. Well, now I certainly appreciate the assistance. Hey, Dave! Can't offer much in the way of a reward, but I can tell you which way the first group of thieves went if you happen out in that direction. Alright, I'll go get them. Yes, Spittoon! Do it! As soon as you get near the spittoon, you can smell the overpoweringly sweet scent it exudes. Nauseatingly sweet, like the rotting corpse of a dead gummy bear. Garish rainbow colors swirl together in congealing psychedelic madness. Is Joy Roy using jelly beans as chewing tobacco? Yes. Yes, of course he is. Ugh, oh, yeah, and I feel that. We're talking about a bowl of jelly beans that have been sucked on, half-chewed, and then spat into a brass bucket. Do you seriously want to put your hand in that swill of artificial coloring and thickened saliva? It will probably never be clean again. Go for it. Look, I'm serious. You're about to permanently dye your hand with a swirling mishmash of all the worst colors in the spectrum. No one will ever have a tattoo that looks as gross or stupid. Give it to me. Well, you tried. Don't say I didn't warn you. You plunge your hand into the spittoon and fish around for a while. Eventually you pull out a really disgusting pistol and a really disgusting hand to shoot it with. Yay. Spittoon hand? What's that? Woo! Your hand has been stained, permanently stained by the rainbow colored contents of a- I did use that meme! I love that meme! Rainbow colored contents of a nasty spittoon. On the bright side, that hand will never suffer anything worse than ever again. Ooh, plus 20 hot, plus 20 cold, and plus 20 sleaze. Uh, I got a Pope hat because I beat the fake Pope, and I got a hat for it. Not this guy, that's for sure. Nope, oh, still looking. Okay, let's go recover that jar of jelly beans. Um, jelly bean thieves hideout. Let's go. Tanning, I'm a tanner. You are tanning boots? Yes, yes, I'm used to making very tan. I don't think that's how it works, but I guess you're the expert. What? Offer to buy the boots. Are these boots for selling? Oh yes, we'll sell the boots for 250 meats. You purchased the boots from the goblin who seems very excited to have made a sale. Okay, cool. We got new boots. Oh, Jesus, they're like right there. Ooh, plus one max AP and plus... Ooh. That is... Oh, but the plus three max AP is really good. Damn. Didn't, isn't there like a panacea of like... Ranch dressing, yeah. Ranch dressed. <sighs> hmm. Oh, yeah. I, it's been all over the radio. I've honestly, admittedly, never been a Rush fan, but I definitely recognize that as a big blow to the community as a whole. You approach the bandits seated up around the fire. The meanest looking one speaks up. Don't know who you think you are, stranger, but you better turn yourself right around and head back the way you came, unless you want to eat lead. Well, that's not very neighborly. Take a hike, neighbor. You fell a soul of jar of jelly beans from an old man, and I aim to have them back. Well, is that right? And just how are you planning on doing that? With words. Listen, fellas, you stole a jar of candy from an old man. This is such a small, petty, sad little crime. It barely even qualifies as a crime. If this ends up on a wanted poster, you're going to be the laughing stock of the criminal community. More importantly, what would your mothers think? I'm giving you a chance to turn away from this life of crime before it's too late, and I suggest you take it because I'm pretty sure this is not a life you're suited to. The bandits hang their heads shamefully and shuffle away. Ooh, my mystical leveled up. 
Sweet. Ooh. Oh yeah, give me stuff. Soda crackers jellied escargot? This must be the jelly beans. Mint mint jelly beans. Filthy bedroll. Dynamite! Yes! A pretty nice bedroll. He must have stolen it from a hiker or something. Ow, dang it. Alright, so now we can go back to Roy Bean's house. Oh yeah, let's fight the- Oh Jesus, yeah, let's go! Oh dear. Oh fuck. This is an intense one. I am going to die. Oh, or Susie's gonna die. You know what? Let's go. Surrender! Oh, okay. You know what I can do? Insult yourself makes me angry. There we go. And that means I can apply more stuff. Actually, it means I can go all the way back to the petting cemetery! Yes! Buffalo pile. Continue where you were headed. That looks horrifying. But if I go into the petting cemetery, I can pick one of these guys. Okay, so this is armor for the rest of the day, speed for the rest of the day, melee damage for the rest of the day, range damage. Uh, okay, so that was the best one anyway. Boon of the Bobcat. Cool. <laughs> Let's get back to Roy Bean's house. Look at Grandy. It's on... Team, you might like a very sweet story. All right, I'll take a look. Sure did. Sweet. Not sweet isn't cool. Okay. Well, I'll be. Thank you kindly. At least I won't ask for details, but I hope they were sufficiently grisly. Now, if the second jar of jelly beans was stolen by a passel, them weird goblin fellas couldn't understand a word they were saying, but they were very insistent. Which way did they go? Northwest told that huge old cat. Cold, huge old cactus folks call old granddad. Here, I'll mark it on your map. You can't miss it. Okay, I'm on it. Let's go to old granddad. Lost Dutch oven mine. Look at the size of that thing. I can't imagine he was talking about a different four story cactus. Holy shit, you can go on in. Hey, hi, no climbing for humans. Talk to them. I'm here taking back a jar of jelly beans. You got one silly. Oh, what? Jelly beans, little colorful sugar thing. Oh, little fruit rocks. Yeah, those. Those are for the pile. The what? Anyway, no upstairs for our humans. Hmm, maybe we can trading? No trading, but you can be riding me. Okay, cool. What are you wanting? A candy bar. Good human candy bar. Be of the bubbles you have and you knowing it. You mean this? Oh, yes, wonderful. Thank you. Can I climbing now? Sure. Sweet. Talk to them. Hmm. Oh, okay. We're going cactus here. So it's just vain being in the other room, but had losing my tap. Okay, I'm being right back. Oh dear. I need 40 moxie. What's my moxie at? 30. Oh, I just need. Do I have anything I can use that'll give me a boost? I need 10 moxie. Alright, so this will give me... I only have one of those, though. Hmm.
Okay, come on. Something that gives me big deal moxie. Hmm. Okay, so that's five. That's by three. Hmm. No, I don't need muscle and mystical. I need fucking melee or moxie. Damage, mysticality, max HP, burial. Oh, there's a lot. Max HP, armor. That's Moxie by three. Okay. That puts me at 41. I should be able to get it now. Find a tap. Nice. Tap it. Cactus syrup. Get some goo. Yes, give cactus syrup. Needing more for proper bribing. Of course you are. Yay, there are you having it. It's time the guards is away for their lives. They have plenty of room to guzzle the syrup. Excellent. Oh, what do you need? Hello, hi. Can I? Nope. Okay, can I? Yep, bring me goblin elixir. Potion of extra delicious bee. So good. Okay, I'll go get that then. Make a goblin elixir. Look for some instructions. Eat the S cargo and hold the horse. Oh, damn, you were right. All right. Pink fluid. Um, green powder. Mauve juice. Shake it up. Uh oh, look for some instructions. Cool! I don't know how I did that, but I did it! Yes! Here's your elixir, probably. Oh, good! Yes! Is it good? Yes! Perfect! Huh, cool. What is this? Hey, uh, guys! Those jelly beans! Can I do having them? Oh, what? Our fruit rocks? No! No, don't take your fruit rocks! These be ours! Not for you taking! Jeez Louise. Okay, ooh, stuff a fungicide bomb into the pile. <laughs> Dang, that was ice cold. Get him! Mission accomplished. I am ruthless. When it comes to saving jelly beans for Roy, Roy beans. Wonderful, good job, kid. Looks like they're all here, too. The goblins didn't need any? It's a long and weird story. Oh, well, never mind then. Oh no, the hippies! We only got one more jar of jelly beans missing. They stole by a gang of him hippies. Why'd they take them? Heck, who knows what a hippie's thinking? All I know is they took off and heading south and a little bit west. Shroom cave. Okay, I'll be right back. Did I buy those mushroom pincers? Hey! What is up, my dude? Was that at. Redwood that I had the mushroom pincers. <laughs> that was easy. Fixing a few computer things. Oh, solid. Okay, it was not here. Oh no, it was at the trading post, wasn't it? Yeah, the mushroom plucking pincers. Okay, good. Ugh. I have one shovel. Man, I wish there was stuff that I could, like... Oh, damn! The overly tanned boots would have given me that, too. Saw my office with the kids' room today, so I had read to do my whole network. Oh, 
god. Redo your whole network. I can read. Ugh. I apologize. You know, I've got three of these fucking goose ghost pickles. I could sell those and get mad cash. I'll come back. I got what I needed. I forget when, uh, when number two is due. Is it too much longer? How's, and also, how's Katie doing? Uh, let's see what we find. Handful of coal and skull chips. Okay. March. Oh, God, it is that soon. Oof. Well, keeping uh, my fingers crossed for. Oh, my God, what is all this shit? Okay, I am. Oh, what is this? This looks like something I could. Mushroom map. Ah. Read it. Oh, good. I'm glad to hear it. This map is labeled Shroom Location shows the weird convoluted trail leading to a big X. You recognize the X is this very cave. Down the line originates a little picture of an army fort. That's probably worth investigating. Okay. Pile of bones is wearing some shredded necromancer cultist clothes. Loot it. Skeleton bones cult. Ooh, discipline slip. Ooh. Examine it. You read over the infraction still on the slip. Looks like one of the cultists was gathering dangerous mushrooms. Curious, you stick the slip into your journal. More about mycology. Looks like that's everything you got so far. Sympathy present this time? Oh, dude. Is it, like, on par for what it was the last time? Or is it better or worse? I have no idea what I'm doing here. Guess I gotta go to Fort of Darkness, maybe? Madness Maw Mine. Keep going where you're going. The hippies! Oh my god. Elves? Yeah, man, like little elf guys. It's hard to see, like just out of the corner of your eye, you know? But they'll be just kind of standing here and kind of. And then I'm like, oh, hey, got another pair of boots in my hands. Guess the elves made some more boots. Huh. I haven't made boot boots myself in, like, I don't know, year? Years? Something. These elves keep making them, though. I don't know why. Weird. Okay. You seen any jelly beans? Probably about the same, but yeah. So you got added Colin bonus. Bonus. Jelly beans? Weird. No, I haven't seen anything like that. Ask the elves, maybe. I'll give that a shot. You should open up a boot store, huh? A store to sell your boots in. They're not mine, though. They're... Right, right. The elves. But the elves can't be making them for just fun, right? I think they're making them so you can sell them. Oh, huh. Yeah, he makes... Town called Dirtwater. You could open up a really nice shop there. That's a, hmm, that's a pretty long trip. <laughs> but, like, it'd be dangerous. I'd be worried the elves wouldn't make it, if you know? Hmm, I'll let you know if I think of anything. Oh, no. This is... <laughs> this young lady is dressed in fancy, expensive traveling clothes. Her hardware has made them dirty and ragged. Also, her pupils are about the size of teacups. Wow, hi, a new face. My name's, um, one sec. Irene, she giggles. Everyone here just calls me mushrooms, so I forget sometimes. Howdy, Irene. I'm Elise. What's your story? Oh, not much to tell. I was hitchhiking to Frisco a few months back, but I stopped here and never got around to continuing, you know? We're like a big happy family here, and everyone's so nice and appreciative of how I know so much about mushrooms. Mushrooms? Uh-huh. They're good for all kinds of things. If you know which ones to pick, you want one. I can sell you a few of my favorites. Okay, cool. Would you like to buy a mushroom? This batch is extra groovy. You seen any jelly beans? I, uh, I had some jelly beans lately. I don't quite remember who. Oh, they're in my lounge. Where's your lounge? Don't quite remember. It's only there part of the time anyway. What? <laughs> I don't know. No thanks. See you later. I don't have a thousand meat. I'm broke as shit right now. Give me bones. Teeth, teeth, clavicle, femur, teeth. Wow, okay. 
Give her some skull chips. Nice, thank you. You seen any jelly beans? Teeth, jawbone, jawbone, teeth, teeth. I see. Do you know anything about a lounge? Teeth, teeth, teeth. Lumbar vertebra. Okay, that makes sense. It's a pack rat skeleton from the petting cemetery. Sweet. Salutations, Lise. They call me the talking dude because my extensive knowledge of the principles of philosophy and arguments and conundrums surrounding its various aspects and interpretations. I bet that's not why they call you that. Can I interest you in a discussion of the particulars of Kurtzian philosophy, Elise? Sure, why not? Interesting. <gasps> yes, I agree. Brain in jar somewhere. I understand completely. Interesting. Uh huh. Ooh, Kurtzian philosopher. Of course. All right, you seen any jelly beans? Cut the crap before I cut it for you. I have, no, I have not, but I do know that Irene, the newest, and dare I say the most delightful of her little clan, is particularly fond of them. You might ask her. Um, do you know where Irene's lounge is? I have been there, but for some inexplicable reason, I was never invited to return. Inexplicable. I would self-actualize by returning on my own, but I don't remember where I was, and Todd will not tell me. It's quite frustrating. No, thank you. All right, gotta find Todd. Ah, yes. Hello, hello. Hmm, I'm Todd. Please, please meet you. So, uh, what do you do around here, Todd? I'm a chemist. I've been researching the properties of some of the local mushrooms. Properties like what? Like how they get you totally wrecked. <laughs> right. I'm kidding. They actually have a lot of interesting, pro interesting properties that can be a real boon to medicine. They may even hold a solution to many psychological disorders. Oh, well, that's pretty interesting. The fact that they get you absolutely smashed is just a happy side effect. <laughs> Woo! I see. If you have any Lactarian to strip for mushrooms, I can refine them into a more potent, potable. A, a potion! Hehe. <laughs> you seen any jelly beans? No, I'm not interested in jelly beans unless they're that kind of jelly beans that get you completely blasted. I don't think that's a real thing. No, it is. I heard they got them in Frisco. That doesn't seem safe, you know, for kids. Uh, do you know where Irene's lounge is? Oh yeah, I do. Don't, uh, don't tell the talking dude if you don't mind, but it's in that cave where we get all of our mushrooms. Hmm, I didn't see any lounge there. It's, you gotta be, uh... He jerks at some of the apparatus behind him and winks at you. If you have any of those... Uh... Oh, you have to be, like, high. Jaw harp! What's this? It's a kind of musical instrument. You bite the narrow part and then, well, basically just do what you've been doing. She gives a few experimental twangs and boings and then knocks out a sweet riff. Wow, this is like a revelation! Thanks! I feel like maybe I should take this show on the road. Maybe try the dual saloon in dirt water. Sounds good to me! Thanks again! She leaves, plunking that twanger the whole way. Oh, plunk that magic twanger, froggy. What in the fuck did I just walk into? This record is from a car and country where music is way weirder. <laughs> this tall, muscular, bald man is leading his students in an aerobic workout routine. His voice is powerful yet disconcertingly soft as he counts off. One and two and three and four. Excuse me, what's going on here? Um, exercise. You must strengthen the body. If the body is weak, your mind will not be strong. These two are one. Who are you? I am Kurtz. My methods will usher in a new age of power and will. Can I exercise with you? Oh. Hmm. I actually have the headband. Oh, I need striped pants. Where do I get striped pants? Where's my damn- I want my Pope hat back. Oh, I don't have save cracking yet. Last time I just said she was buried in plot 420 in the military cemetery up north. Cannon loading for idiots. Ooh, I do so love military school class ring. Book, book, book! 
This book is so rudimentary it's insulting to your intelligence, even though you now know nothing about loading cannons. Damn it! Oh well. Alright, so I guess I have to get a... I have to obtain a mushroom. You know, I have those mushroom pluckers. I wonder if I can go to the shroom cave and use them? Wandering Sally! Yes, I do want to. Let's see if you got any new books. Yes! Safe cracking! Oh no, I don't have enough money. Fuck! I need money! Oh, this I don't need. Oh my god. Shit, I have so much stuff. Let's sell that. Sell. Oh, my floppy derby. Bandit pistol I don't need. Ancient bean can? Tuna fork. That can go. Mmm. Mmm. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I need this. I need the book. I need to know safe cracking. <sighs> Thank you. Thank you, Wandering Sally. Get my ass back over to the shroom cave. Anything the rank goblins in military? What's your unit? What? Where are uniform getting? From dead soldier man, so I'm soldier now. Not quite how that works. Good to salute and continue on your way. Get a mushroom. Like, clearly it's gotta be... Hmm. Like, I can't figure this part out, so let's... I guess we can go to the post office again? What? Who? What? Oh, hello, hello, friends! I hope y'all are having a wonderful evening! I'm about to trespass. Oh, and thank you kindly for the follow! <laughs> Changed the world. I can get on. I can get on with that. These sick figures do crimes. Ah, did she find the room on the travels for travels towards Redwood? Oh, it's a meme. Ah, okay. I must have missed that one. Now I feel old. Can you? Think you just steal a mushroom from the hippies and give it back to them because they're too high to figure it out? Possibly. Chuck's house. Okay, I guess we gonna go there. Something about this house makes you suspicious. You can't quite put your finger on it. The place looks perfectly normal after all, but you can't shake the feeling that there's something very wrong going on here. Maybe you're just being paranoid. Hmm. There's no name on it or anything. It's unmarked. You approach the door hesitantly. Yeah, it's funny because I, I remember the existence of Kingdom of Loathing. Like a bunch of my friends played it when I was in college. But I never got into it. And apparently it's still rolling, which is awesome. 
Come in, it's open. It's always open. The door creaks open, and you step inside the house. The interior is an absolute nightmare. The walls are covered with rusty chains and hooks, as well as a variety of wicked-looking knives and shears. A man of indeterminate age and slightly hunched posture grins widely as you enter, his eyes gleaming. He's standing near a large puddle of blood on the floor. Ah. Uh. Hello, my name is Chuck. Welcome to my little blood and breakfast. Your what? Blood and breakfast. Oh, sorry, I have a lisp. A lisp? Yeah, it makes lewd sound like lewd. A bed and breakfast. I see. People also tell me I emphasize words oddly, but I don't get that at all. Uh-huh. It's a large collection of steel chains and hooks as well as knives, shears, and other bladed implements. Everything is covered with rust or possibly dried blood or possibly both. Aha, you've noticed my collection. Yeah, it's uh, dramatic. It all belonged to my father and his father before him. They were butchers. And you? <laughs> I do a little bit, but not professionally. I broke with family tradition to run my little blood and breakfast. Sorry, that's private. My blood room. Your what? My blood room. My bedroom. Oh, right. Gotcha. Oh, never mind then. Oh, paint yourself with various sins and jars on it. There's nothing very unusual, but you do notice two jars of tea leaves labeled Sleepy Time and Earl Grape. There's a kettle on the stove and it's still hot. Exactly! There's- oh my god, the- Every time I play and I start doing something different, it just gets even funnier, and I love it! Alright. Can't help but notice you have a giant pool of blood on your floor. Blood? Oh no no, I see why you might think that, but this is certainly... Red like blood, but this is tomato soup. Tomato soup? Yes, I spilled my lunch. Very clumsy of me. I was just getting started cleaning up when you arrived. I see. Chuck is staring at you. You notice that himself eyes tendency to drift sideways as he stares and reset when he blinks, which is not often enough. This, how can I help you? You said you're running a bed and breakfast here. That's what I said, yes. Could I have a look at the guest man? It's in the cellar, but I'm afraid it's unavailable at the moment. My last guest has only just checked out, and I still need to clean up the mess. Oh, what's on the menu? Homemade sausages and tomato soup. I also have a special tea blend that's a real knockout. What kind of sausages? Long pork sausages, my grandfather's own recipe. Did you just say long pork? Yes, that's right. I make them longer than regular pork sausages. They're more filling that way. This is puzzling and uncomfortable for many different reasons. You mentioned a special tea blend. Yes, a very special herbal blend that puts my guests right to sleep. It's very effective. Huh. Has a mailman been by recently? Well, yes, my last guest was a mailman. Such a nice fellow. It's a shame he's no longer with us. I hope you just mean that he left. I think to think he'll always be here in spirit. Thanks. <laughs> Cellar door. Man, I bet it's all kinds of horror down there. Like some kind of medieval torture dungeon. Enter! It's locked. But is it locked to keep you out or locked to keep something in? Oh, it's a Plotco lock. Those things are unpickable. Huh. Shoot, did I just hit a dead end? I mean, obviously I couldn't have, but... This is... Yeah, this is, a. Uh... Oh my god, yes, we did Shaggy Dog Cave, and it was amazing. Oh, come back. I don't... What am I supposed to do from here? Thank you, Spores. Alright, no. Oh, uh, that was terrifying. All right, Susie, what are we going to do? What do you think we should do next? Ah, uh, fuck. <laughs> Why can't I get Plotco locks? There's got to be something I'm missing here. <laughs> I'm assuming it's called Plotco because it's a... 
plot thing. Not that it's necessarily like a, a uh, like an actual thing. Hey, Sports. Okay, what's thing out of nightmares. Maybe not your nightmare specifically, but definitely someone's. A human skeleton scuttling towards you, crackling with blue electricity, making a loud hissing noise that sounds like a cross between a nest of angry rattlesnakes and a broken radio. Let's fight. Oh, yep, that is an electrical... F okay. There. Oh! Gritlo, vibrating scapula. Oh, I, I don't mind uh, backseating, actually, boom. Because I get lost real easy. Especially in this game where I can't figure out where I'm going. Ghostly Spectre in the form of an old wild haired man shambles towards you, muttering, to my old banjo, Aveline. Get this body stunted. What? I'm gonna teach you. Go back to the shelf with the tea. Oh, man. Oh, Pear, you're. You're gonna love this. If if that is what is interesting to you, you're gonna love this. Fight it. A drunk- oh, it's a drunk ghost. Go back to the tea shelf. Okay, I will do that. See, it's a good thing that was just wandering. Okay, let's go back into Chuck's. Go back over to the tea shelf. Take a closer look. Ah! Switch the labels. You've certainly swapped the labels. Chuck doesn't seem to have noticed. What's on the menu? Special tea blend? Huh. Oh, that reminds me. I left the kettle on. The water should be boiled by now. Would you care for a cup of tea? No, thanks. I'm good. Chuck pours himself a cup of tea and sips at it while staring at it. After a bit, he starts to look drowsy. Oh my, I'm coming over all sleepy. Perhaps I should get my blood down, or my head down for a few minutes. It has been a long day. Please excuse me. Sure. Okay, sneaky times. Yoink! Chuck's key. Yoink, indeed. I love sneakiness. Let's go! You unlock the door and seal yourself from what you're about to see. Huh, it doesn't look nearly as horrific down there as you expected, unless you're particularly horrified by an unmade bed. Hmm. Yes, see if there's anything good. Ooh! Ooh! Aw, oh, man. What a haul. Hey, this looks like the missing bag of mail! Grab it. Oh man, thank goodness you found my mail! This mailbag is yours? Yeah, I've been stressed out lately, so I took a day off and rented a room here for a sort of mini-vacation. Chuck's a great guy. A little weird, I guess, but real personable. And his cooking is great! The tomato soup and those great big sausages his tea did wonders for my insomnia, too. It did seem pretty effective. Anyway, I forgot my mailbag and wasn't sure where I left it, so I've been retracing my stress for ages. Thanks for finding it! Sure, no problem. Here you go. The man then walks away with the bag over his shoulder, whistling a cheerful tune. Well, that's sorted, I guess. All right, I got books to read. Raise Skeletal Thrall. Yes! Read it! Thin Blood? Ooh. Ugh. Modern Snake Alert, give me that. Okay, so we got Quick on the Draw. We got Strong Medicine. And we got Bad Medicine. Let's do quick on the draw. You know, I should have waited, because then I would have gotten that damn magazine. What? Oops. What the hell? Who? Pay what PayPal? What is PayPal doing? What do you need from? Oh. I paid for a Twitch subscription, but I don't know whose. Oh, you know, it's the eleventh. I think it's Luke's. Okay. My volume just go up, like, really loud? Okay, so we can go back to Breadwood now, I guess. Ghostwood? Yeah! 
We gonna go in the other direction and go to Ghostwood? Hell yeah! Saloon! This is probably what I needed those damn pickles for. Try Town Hall into the street. Thanks. Town Hall. Ah, a visitor! Um... I will be, but the instructions say very clearly that the applicant must have a number three pencil. Well, okay. We're trying to you know, the general store. It's a little more specific these days, but yes. Okay, so I have to go to the general store, get a number three pencil. Okay. Okay, great. What's your last name? Explosion. First name, Elise. Middle name? Danger. Uh, little farm outside Boring Springs. Boring, just like it says on the label. What? Uh, fuck! Quest for Glory is a complete collection of games 1 through 5 for 10 bucks on Steam? Ooh, cool! Uh, 8? Oh, go count and try again. Alright. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Damn it, it was ten. Three, five, two, one, two, one. What? Adjunct Department of Records? Where is, did I look at the wrong house? Or is it just six? Oh, you were trying to play the DOS for- Ugh, that's rough. Okay, okay, come on. Name. Occupation. Okay, expires in 11 seconds. Three. What? frustrating. There's somewhere else you can find a pencil around here. Okay, fine. I see how it is. I'll go back to Breadwood. Take a peek at the ca- oh, there's a cactus? Skeleton fight. Oh dear. Hmm. Oh, whiffed me. Cool. Good. Alright. Fuck. I guess while I'm here, I'll go tell him that we did the first one. Yep. Oh, safe cracking too. Okay. The overdue book. Our library's only got four books, so it's serious business when someone doesn't return one. Our records say it was loaned out to a lady named Alexandria. That was a couple of mayors ago, so I don't know her, but I've got an address. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to Ghostwood and then check out the damn cactus, because now I'm curious. Great expectations. Ugh. Cactus. Ah! 
Number four pencil? Oh. Sharpened ghost pencil. It's 75% of a number. From, hmm, I don't see anything about this in the Bible. Very well. Oh, thank God. Yay. Trouble. Oh, damn, I forgot it. It was danger, not trouble. Ocean. Release. Danger. Boring Springs. Six. Bars are in the windows? What? Four. Ugh, frustrate. Okay, there we go. Huh. Okay. Oh, I can't think of anything. Oh, cool! Spam. Doot. Um, nothing, I guess. Department of Records, I can help you. Oh, I can't think of anything. I need a drink immediately. Mm, beer. Ugh. A yeah, hundred and three. Eh, never mind. Well, this is a weird town. I'm sure there's something. Ooh, okay, interesting. No, I don't want to do that. Let's go. All right, I am starting to get very, very tired and it is getting a little late. So I'm going to talk to Susie and remember what the fuck we're supposed to do. Okay, back to the mayor's office. That's right. Oh, Wandering Sally. Okay, I got some stuff I can sell you. Oh man. That's two in a row. Cool. I got that already, so I can... Oh, God. That was painful. Hmm. Alright. Now we go back to... Redwood! Damn it. Can it carry... Caged canary? Oh, the library book. Not yet. Uh, take your leave. I'm supposed to go to an address? <gasps> Wait, I can flush that toilet. Yes! Ooh, perk master of flushing! Cage Canary. Spooky resistance. Cool. Okay, so what is Master Flushing? Plus three muscles! Sweet! It's good, because I keep losing all that stuff for, uh... Ugh, what am I supposed to do here? I owe you one piano. Ask about the darts. I ain't got no darts. Dang it. Ask about the guy washing... Oh, no. I wanted to talk about the guy washing dishes. That muffin lover ran up a tab he couldn't pay off, so now he gets to wash dishes. Some of them dishes I've been saving for just an occasion. How much is you? 150. I'll pay it. You're even dumber than I assume. Whatever. You can tell him he's free yourself. Alrighty. Oh, what did you... Well, thanks. I don't know. I do pretty much nothing except washing dishes. Nothing at all? 
Well, I can also wash clothes, and I can play the washboard. That's pretty much it, though. Plenty of job opportunities open up in dirt water. Why don't you try your luck out there? Well, all right, it's worth a shot. Thanks, pal. All right. I am getting very tired. So I think I am going to... Does this go back to the main screen? Yeah, so main menu. I'm going to call it a night. Um, yeah, it is definitely get ye rest time. Because it's certainly not anything else. Let me see if anybody else is still live. No. Literally nobody else is still live. What the hell. But thank you guys so much for hanging out tonight. I love this game. It's so bananas and so strange. Thank you for the raids. For the follows. For being here when I got to ban some spammers. I love banning spammers. Uh, but I will be back probably Tuesday. I don't see any reason why I won't stick to my usual stream schedule for Tuesday. Unless I have to go into the field again, surprisingly. I don't think I do, though. So take care. Be good. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. And I'll see you then. Bye.